Thank you. I feel great, as always. Blessed, thankful, humble. Um, I first realized I was going to be a Buccaneer when I seen uh, Farrah from Clemson get the call from the Raiders. You know, I knew I was in play with the Raiders at four, but, you know, Coach Bruce told me if I was on the board at five, he was going to take me, and that was like my long-kept, hard secret, you know, from, like, the media. But I told the media I knew I kind of had a feeling where I was going, but I just never knew if the Raiders was going to take me or not, you know, because they was really interested in me. I mean, I feel like I'm a guy that can fit in anywhere, you know. I can adapt to anything. And, I mean, it's a great spot for me, and I'm just ready to get there and, you know, just just do what I do and just, you know, be part of a great organization with a great coaching staff, great owners, and, you know, just everything about the program. Like, I'm just, I'm just ready to be there. Yeah, I mean, you know, we got a guy by the name of Jack Maruche at LSU. You know, he always told me that he, I reminded him of Derek, and he was he was going to connect us once I finally declared. And, you know, now is a real good time for him to connect us so I can pick his brain and just, you know, get a lot of gems from him about how, about how he became, became such a great pro because at the end of the day, I just want to help my team. And, you know, him being a great buck, I know he want to see me help those guys win. So, you know, I'm just ready to, you know, just do my own thing. But you know, try to get on his level. The Buccaneers fans are getting a, a great off the field player. You know, I'm going to be a guy that's going to, you know, everybody's going to respect. You know, they're going to love when I bring off the field. But on the field, they're going to get a versatile linebacker, a three-down linebacker that's able to go sideline to sideline, able to drop in coverage, hold different, you know, um, running backs and tight ends, and a guy that can also get down and dirty in the trenches. And, you know, just a guy you don't have to take off a field who's going to play with a relentless effort, a high motor, and just got the passion for the game. Oh, I'm definitely – I'm – 140% excited. You know, the first time I met him at the combine, it was just like a spark. You know, you know he know the game of football, and you know he know when he's around a great player, and he know how to develop players. So that's one of my main reasons why I'm so excited because I want to be a great pro. You know, it's, it's it's about me, but it's about the team as well. And I know he he want everybody that he coaches to be great, and I'm just ready to be great. You know, whatever I gotta do, what work I gotta put in, I'm ready and willing. Like it's just the next step in my journey. So the number one thing I liked about my visit to Tampa was just basically, you know, when I went into all the meetings, it really wasn't football anymore. And I only had met with him at the combine. But, you know, I went to dinner with him the night before a pro day at Ruth Chris. But, I mean, other than that, it was just all getting to know me and just really getting to see what type of person I was. And obviously, you know, they, they got the feeling that I was a great person and they not wrong. Like, I'm, I'm such a great person and I don't fake it to make it. Like, what I do and what I, and I stand by that. Like, I, I do that every day. I wake out the bed and I'm the same every day. And I just had a great feeling because, you know, when I was getting ready to fly from my visit to Tampa, I was headed to New York to do some ESPN stuff and also visit the New York Giants. And my flight got delayed, like, all night. I was in the airport for over eight, nine hours, so that was a sign from God that, like, that's where I needed to be. Play, play against. Play with. Whew. They got a big defensive tackle that they drafted last year, so I need to play behind. Oh, I know his name. I know his name. I know his name. Yeah, Big Vita. Man, I want to get behind that guy. I want to get to know that guy. And... You know, I can make him better and he can make me better. You know, it's always about your big boys up front. You got to take care of them. And I just believe, you know, me and him have a great chemistry. And then also, JPP, you know, what he's able to do on the outside for the team is just go get sacks and stuff. Like, man, really just the whole team. So don't even ask me. I'm just ready to be part of the Bucks family, man. Go Bucks, man, all day. I mean, through the process, we were talking, but we was only talking horses. We wasn't talking the process. He told me to just be me. But he did just send me a lengthy text, you know, when I was walking in. I didn't get to read it because I had to come on stage. But I know it, I know it says something about country and just be yourself and stuff. But he gave me a lot of knowledge, and I'm ready to go to the, you know, go read it and reach back out to him. No, nah, I can't read it to you. That's personal, man. Me and Big Bro have been knowing each other for, like, a long time. He took me in when I came to LSU. The guy literally let me come to his house. 
that's in Clinton, Louisiana, which is like an hour from Baton Rouge, to ride horses, eat his mom food, and, you know, just hang out and, you know, just, you know, be a great big brother to me. So I, I, I can't share that with you. Oh, man, it's going to be a lot of Devin White fans when we play the Saints. Just from the LSU being the greatest fan base, you know, in college football, they're going to continue to support me. And, you know, once I came off the stage, it was a bunch of Saints fans saying, LSU, like, we love you, we love you. So that's just to show you, like, if you're a guy with, with great character and, you know, compassion about your state, that no matter where you go, they they not going to root against you. They're going to root for you. So, like I said before, you know, the Bucks got a lot of Louisiana fans now just because I'm on the team, and it's a good feeling. Yeah. Well, I mean, the reason why I was so emotional is not because I ran so fast. Like, I knew I was going to run fast. I told all the scouts and GMs, head coaches in the meetings, I'm going to run low 4-2. Low I'm at 3 I mean, low 4-4 four, or four, uh, maybe high 4-3, and I did just that. But when I when I went back over and I seen my mom call me and she expressed so much emotion, she was cheering up and down. Like, she was just so happy that I went out there and did it because I've been working so hard. And my mom, she's always been hard on me, and that's a good thing. You know, it made me better. So just to finally see that emotion from my mom, I was ecstatic. Like, I was so happy, and, and I just let it all out. And I ain't mean to do it on camera, but, man, it just had to come out. All right, thank you. God bless y'all.